hello and welcome today we are going to take a very basic but fundamental concept in c programming the linked list now what is a linked list how it is implemented why we need linked list in the first place we are going to get the answers to all these questions in this recorded video so first of all what is a linked list a linked list is a set of nodes that are connected via pointers now if you don't know c pointers or you want to get a very detailed deep understanding of c pointers you can get access to our course c pointers the secrets every embedded engineer must know now what is a node a node is an instance or an object of a c structure now let me define a simple c structure with a data and a pointer now this is the definition of a node it contains a data and it contains a pointer to the node itself now let me create a node now let's see what happens when you create a variable a how much memory it gets from the system so let's see here there are two variables one is the data another one is the next pointer right so data is by default taking four bytes let's assume that it is a, it is a 32 bit system and then the next pointer is also going to take four byte right so the total memory that is allocated to this node a would be eight byte okay now let's look at the mental model of the memory Now let's say that I want to initialize this node A with some data, okay? So what I do is A dot data is equal to 100, A dot next is equal to none, okay? So what I, what it typically does is write 0 x 100 here and then null here okay now let's say i want to create some another node b struct node b this is again getting eight bytes randomly from this memory range right so let's say that we got some memory somewhere here 0x 800 and next cell would be 0x 804 okay and this is what you call b okay okay and now i want to initialize b okay so b dot data is equal to let's say 200 and b dot next is equal to null right so what i'm typically doing here is that writing null here and then writing 200 here now let's say that i want to connect node a and node b via pointer next okay so what i do here is that i write a dot next is equal to address of b okay so what it will do is it will go to the address 0x404 
and then update with the address of B. The address of B is 0x800. So it will replace that null with 0x800. Okay. Now the node A knows where the node B is because the pointer in the node A holds the address of the node B, right? Now this is the way how it is implemented in the memory, but we programmer use a different uh, way to visualize the linked list. So let me present that first. So this is a serial way to visualize a linked list where a node A is kept side by side to the node B and node A holds the data and the address to the next node B and then B also holds the data and then null. So null here represent that there is no node further in the list. Okay. And we also have a head to the linked list. In linked list, we maintain a pointer to the head of the list or a pointer to the first node of the linked list. Okay, so here let me create a pointer. A struct node pointer head. So it will create some head somewhere here. Now let's say that this head pointer got some memory at some address 0x600, okay, this memory, and then you call it as head. So this will contain the address of the first node, right, so head is equal to address of A, right, so what does that mean is that take the address of A and put it into the head, right? So the address of A would be 0x400 and then put it into head. That means put it at the address 0x600, okay? Now head is a node pointing to the node A, right? So This is he, this is head, right, pointing to this node, first node. So this is how a linked list is maintained. Now, let's understand why do we need linked list? Why can't we just store data using array, right? We create a big array, store the data. There is no need of linked list. Now, to understand this, let me take an example. Let's say that you have a class and a number of students joined that class. Now it may happen that a person, you know, leave that class or join some another class, or it may happen that another new person joining that class, right? So if you use an array, you have to use some fixed size array, right? So let's say that uh, I am handling a hundred students right so what i would do is i would create an array of 100 students now let me create an array of 100 students now the memory that i have got here as part of this array will be a big chunk of memory which is all the nodes or all the cells in that array will be contiguous Right, so I might uh, represent this in the memory like this, that I have a big chunk of a memory and there are cells in that array, right? Let me fill this data. So I have, let's say the first student ID is one. The name of that student is A. The second student ID is two. Name of student 
is b c 3 and c and so on hold d and so on now let's say that a student b wants to leave this class so what i need to do is to delete this data 2 comma b from the list right but in this array since it is a memory i cannot really delete this so what i have to do is to left shift all these data by one cell right now my new array will be like this right that i had to right shift from 3 and so on right so this element will be 3 comma c this element will be 4 comma d 5 comma e and so on right now let's say one more student is joining this class let's say the student name is a b c and its id is let's say 100 1 right and this person is joining our class now i cannot really add this person into our list because list has 100 uh, you know cells and each cell is filled with previous student data right so now what i need to do is to create another list struct student list modified of 101 students right and then i will have to copy this entire data into this new list all the corresponding data into the new uh, corresponding cells in the array and at location 101 which would be list m 100 because of the index starting at zero so this i need to update with 101 and abc now you know that in order to add one more student data to the list i had to create another 101 uh, you know memory space and then had to copy everything into the new list and then append a new newly arrived student data right adding and removing a node in the array is really expensive and let's see how a linked list can solve this problem now if we now if you recall in order to maintain the list of nodes in the linked list we need to have another pointer of struct student in this declaration so let me add that right so struct student and a pointer that is pointing to the next node in the list okay now in order to maintain a list of nodes i need to first create a head right so let me create a head struct student head now it is a pointer so head pointer and i'll initialize it with null that means initially the linked list is empty right now let's say i add a node in this linked list so let me present how a head would look like so this is a head it has null right And now, if I add one student data in this list, let's say one, and then student name is A, into this list. So what I typically do is that I will create a node, right? I will create a node of struct a student, fill the data one and A corresponding to student ID and student name, and then assign its address to the head right so my head is here 
and whatever address of this head is there i will it will point to the first node which is 1a right now if i want to add another student data let's say 2 comma b into this list what i can do is create another node so one is already created and here the next was null right next was null here i will have a next which is pointing to the next node which is 2 b and then null right this will have null and then my head is again pointing to the first node of the of the list now let's say i want to remove 2 comma b from the list okay so what i have to do is that go to the node a and then so what i have to do is to go to the node a so my head is still pointing to the first node and then all i have to do is to assign this value to null okay and then free the node of the uh, represented by student b right so you can see it took me hardly a small operation to be able to add or remove a node from the list in the next video we are going to study all the operations that we perform on a linked list so what are those operations let me you know explain here so that the first operation that we could perform over a given linked list is to add a new node okay second operation that we perform is to remove a node from list okay third operation that we perform is to search if a node a node is present or not the fourth operation that we perform is to iterate through linked list and print all the nodes thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you